Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. This family tree represents two members of the research group, Universal Center for Renovation. Our family tree. Our family tree, paternal grandfather and paternal grandmother. Father's parents. Black Cherokee Indian, the paternal line. On the maternal line, Thomas Jefferson and Robert Fulton. Part four. Carter G. Woodson and the Jews of the Niger River. Most missionary teachers of the freedmen, like most men of our time, have never read the interesting books of travel in Africa and have never heard of the Tariq as Sudan. Carter G. Woodson. Miseducation of the Negro, page 19, 1933. A page from Tariq al Sudan, History of the Sudan. Source Jews of Balad el Sudan, Wikipedia. Page from the Tariq al Sudan, which describes Za Zuwa. Alyamin coming from Yemen and settling in Kukia. According to certain local Malian legends, an account in the Tariq al Sudan may have recorded the first Jewish presence in West Africa, which coincided with the arrival of the first Zuwa ruler of Kukia and his brother, who settled near the Niger River. He was only known as Za Zuwa Al Yaman, which means that he comes from Yemen. Some local legends state that Zuwa Al Yaman was a member of one of the Jewish communities which were either transported or voluntarily moved from Yemen by the Ethiopians in the 6th century CE. After the defeat of Du Nuas. The Tariq al Sudan states that there were 14 Zuwa rulers of Kukia after Zuwa Alamin before the rise of Islam in the region. There is debate on whether or not the Tariq al Sudan can be understood in this manner. Jewish presence in West Africa. Carter G. Woodson, Carter Goodwin Woodson, born December 19, 1875, died April 3, 1950, was an American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, ASALH. He was one of the first scholars to study the history of the African diaspora, including African-American history. A founder 
of the Journal of Negro History in 1916. Woodson has been called the father of black history. Born in Virginia, the son of former slaves, Woodson had to put off schooling while he worked in the coal mines of West Virginia. He graduated from Berea College and became a teacher and school administrator. He gained graduate degrees at the University of Chicago in 1912, was the second African American after W.E.B. Du Bois to obtain a PhD degree from Harvard University. Woodson remains the only person whose parents were enslaved in the United States to obtain a history PhD. He taught at historically black colleges, Howard University and West Virginia State University, but spent most of his career in Washington, D.C., managing the ASALH, public speaking, writing, and publishing. Father of Black History. Woodson has been called the father of black history. The miseducation of the Negro. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. Carter G. Woodson. Chapter 3. How we drifted away from the truth. How did we drift away from true history? Ex-slaves, freed men, celebrating their newly acquired freedom after the United States Civil War, 1865. How then did the education of the Negro take such a trend? The people who maintained schools for the education of certain Negroes before the Civil War were certainly sincere. And so were the missionary workers who went south to enlighten the freedmen after the results of that conflict had given the Negroes a new status. These earnest workers, however, had more enthusiasm than knowledge. The freedmen who were to be enlightened were given little thought. For the best friends of the race, ill taught themselves followed the traditional curricula of the times, which did not take the Negro into consideration, except to condemn or pity him. American Missionary Association the American Missionary Association, AMA, was a Protestant-based abolitionist group founded on September 3, 1846 in Albany, 
New York. The main purpose of the organization was abolition of slavery, education of African Americans, promotion of racial equality, and spreading Christian values. Its members and leaders were of both races. The association was chiefly sponsored by the Congregationalist Churches in New England. Starting in 1861, it opened camps in the South for former slaves. It played a major role during the Reconstruction era in promoting education for blacks in the South by establishing numerous schools and colleges as well as paying for teachers. The American Missionary In America, after the Civil War, the emancipation of 4 million slaves and the explosion of Chinese immigration fundamentally challenged traditional ideas about who belonged in the national polity. As Americans struggled to redefine citizenship in the United States, the Negro problem and the Chinese question dominated the debate. During this turbulent period, which witnessed the Supreme Court's Plessy v. Ferguson decision and passage of the Chinese Exclusion Act, among other restrictive measures, American Baptists promoted religion instead of race as the primary marker of citizenship. Mark of citizenship was religion. Through its domestic missionary wing, the American Baptist Home Missionary Society had its minister, former slaves, South, Chinese immigrants, the Pacific Coast, espousing an ideology of evangelical nationalism, which the country would be united around Christianity rather than the race. Chinese and African Americans in national politics. Their hope for a Christian nation hinged on the social transformation of these two groups through spiritual and educational uplift. By 1900, the society had helped establish important institutions that are still active today, including the Chinese Baptist Church and many historically black colleges and universities. Source. Citizens of a Christian nation. Evangelical missions and the problem of race in the 19th century. Derek Chang. Henry Lyman Morehouse Henry Lyman Morehouse, born October 2, 1834, died May 5, 1917, was a Baptist minister, hymns author, and member of the American Baptist Home Mission Society of New York. American Missionary Association branched off from the American Home Missionary Society. Morehouse College The Morehouse College was founded in 1867 by William Jefferson White as Augusta Institute for Educating Black People on Theology. 
but was later renamed several times by the leaders at the boards. The leadership of John Hope, who was the first African-American president, renamed the college to Morehouse College in 1913 to honor Morehouse, who had donated funds to the college, but was a white northern-born prominent minister of American Baptist Home Missionary Society of New York. The Iliad, Homer. The continuation of Carter G. Woodson, Miseducation of the Negro. In the teaching of fine arts, these instructors usually started with Greece by showing how that art was influenced from without, but they but they omitted the African influence, which scientists now regard as significant and dominant in early Hellas or Greece, Hercules. Fresco, Naples, Italy, 50 to 79 BC. These Africans were Israelites. They failed to teach the student the Mediterranean melting pot with the Negroes from Africa, bringing their wear, their ideas, and their blood therein to influence the history of Greece, Carthage, and Rome. Negroes lived in Rome, Carthage, and Greece. Israelites lived in Rome, Carthage, and Greece. Phoenician Israelites ship sailing the Mediterranean Sea. Wikipedia article Black People in Ancient Roman History In Classical Antiquity Greek and Roman writers were acquainted with people of every skin tone from very pale to very dark. People with very dark skin tones and woolly hair are depicted in various artistic modes. Skin tones did not carry any social implication and no social identity either imposed or assumed was associated with skin Racism, as understood today, developed only after the classical period. The ancients did not fall into the era of biological racism. Black skin color was not a sign of inferiority. Greeks and Romans did not establish color as an obstacle to integration in society. An ancient society was one that for all of its faults and failures never made color the basis for judging a man. Frank Snowden Jr. A young toga clad man of letters holding a scroll. Wikipedia. Source. Moses. Parting the Red Sea. 
Udera Europis Synagogue. Roman Moses. Roman soldier. As another has well said, to handicap a student by teaching him that his black face is a curse and that his struggle to change his condition is hopeless is the worst sort of lynching. It kills one's aspirations and dooms him to vagabondage and crime. It is strange then that the friends of truth and the promoters of freedom have not risen up against the present propaganda in the schools and crushed it. This crusade is much more important than the anti-lynching movement because there will be no lynching if it did not start. In the schoolroom, why not exploit, enslave, or exterminate a class that everybody is taught to regard as inferior? Carter G. Woodson, 1933, Miseducation of the Negro.